So talking really quickly this morning on the uh, 2nd of, of uh, March 2023, going into the Iditarod this year, legacy building. You know, I think Mitch was really fortunate to have some uh, some sons who were passionate about the sport, like Dallas, even Danny and Tyrell, I think, when they were younger. Conway, I think, clearly veered away from it. You know, when I think, you know, as someone who grew up with it myself, I think there's a moment where you love it and you're you're – you're totally into it. You know, I was really into it. But, I mean, there's also a part of it where I'm sort of almost embarrassed, you know, being so connected to this family-type sport. And you want to really uh, make your own name for yourself, you know, and forge your own path in life. You know what I mean? Your own career, your own relationships, and not be something that's built upon, you know, connections that are basically business connections that are family connections, one and the same. So, you know, I think and what we're seeing this year is Mitch and Dallas are not signed up. We're seeing uh, Kelly Maxner take out Dallas's team. And he is a veteran of the race. He has some experience, you know. And obviously, Dallas's team, I don't know which dogs from Dallas's kennel. Obviously, this is one of the caveats with this. And I don't know which dogs from Mitch's kennel. But we're seeing uh, Christian Turner, who is a former CV handler, take out Mitch's A team in the race. But I worry a little bit about that because Christian wasn't there all season long training the dogs from the autumn up, you know, from September and August, those early training runs. And, you know, there is quite a bit of data that a musher during a training season gathers. You know, this isn't something like a race car where you just jump on. There's a lot of, uh, you know, these are animals. There's a lot of ins and outs and details and, uh, you know, in terms of the relationship the musher builds with the dogs. And I think these big corporate kennels like the CV kennel, even like, uh, you know, uh, King and Boozer to some extent, but, you know, like the CV kennel specifically is the one we're talking about, uh, you know, they they might be making a mistake in, in doing this, not really setting up these jockeys like Christian Turner, Kelly Maxwell for success. Though I don't know if Kelly trained the entire season because there is that, you know, relationship between the dogs and we don't want to take that for granted. You know, I think we saw years ago, Emily Maxwell jumped on a team, didn't work out. We just saw in the junior at Ditterod, uh, you know, Nick Petit's, uh, Lacey, whatever, jump on a team. It didn't really work out. I don't know what the details are, but, you know, I'm trying to try to make this the point that I think there should be a rule with that Ditterod that, you know, we don't have people jumping on the last minute and going out there and running the race. They need to train the entire season with the dogs, even if they don't own the dogs, just to show the respect to both the dogs and the trail and to the other competitors who do have that 24-7, 365, you know, relationship and preparation invested in the dog team and in the race and just for the safety as well.